guys, I'm Codius, and today I'm going to be showing you how to turn off blood in Source Engine games. Not all Source Engine games, but the ones that are supported, this is the easiest way to do it. But now the supported games that I'm going to be showing you are Half-Life 2 and other variants of it, such as Half-Life 2 Lost Coast, Counter-Strike Source, Portal 1 and 2, and Team Fortress 2. Now, you may be wondering, why would you want to turn off blood in Portal 1 and 2? Because there is no blood. Actually, there is. It's not very much at all. It's just when the turret shoots you, it has the same, you know, blood spattering effect on the wall. And if you just don't want to see that, then this is how to do it. Anyway, so before I get into this, I would like to list out some reasons that I've come up with for why you might want to do this. Now first, you might have younger siblings that uh, you don't want them to see blood because you know your parents might get mad at you, or even not just siblings, just younger children in the vicinity of the area and you don't want them seeing that. That's a reason. Uh, another reason, probably more prevalent than the others, is your parents won't let you play the game in question due to the violence. This will turn off blood but it won't turn off the fact that there are probably going to be bodies laying around. If you're looking to turn a shooter game into a non-shooter game, if your parents have a problem with guns or weapons, then uh, I'm afraid that's not something that you're going to be able to do in a game that is an FPS. And if you didn't know, FPS means first person shooter. So, one more reason. Uh, you might personally not want to see such violence for whatever reason. Um, some of you may be like, what the heck, why am I even watching this? I don't really care at all and actually it makes the gameplay better. Well, that's an opinion. Um, and I don't want to ramble on too much about this, but you're entitled to your opinion. With that being said, uh, let's get into it. So, first, obviously, open up Steam, go to your library, and find the game that you're going to do. For an example, I'm going to do Half-Life 2 because uh, basically this it works the same for all of the ones that I listed. And also, by the way, I do want to make known that there are... I'm going to delete that. Um, okay. There are other ways, like there are other games that are supported. I'm sure, I'm pretty sure Left 4 Dead, those work with this. You'll have to experiment with yourself. But anyway, so this is how to do it. So. I didn't even tell you how to do that. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, right click on your game, go to properties, then under the general tab, you're gonna click set launch options. Now, I already set that there from my first take, um, but anyway, so what you're gonna type is plus violence underscore a blood zero space plus violence underscore h blood. Zero. Now this turns off the functions in the game that, uh, you know, spatter blood and stuff on the walls. Now there is another alternative to this. You can, I'm not sure how supported this is, but you can do dash LV, which turns on low violence mode. And I'm pretty sure this achieves the same effect. It may do some other stuff, but you, uh, I encourage you to try both because they both, I know this one works, and I'm pretty sure the other uh, the other one works too. But anyway, so now that that is there, I'm gonna launch up Half-Life 2. All right, so uh, I'm in Half-Life 2 right now, and I'm gonna part a save that I had that I know there's enemies here, and we do have blood turned off in this. So I know there's some enemies, enemies. large difference, so I'll be back with you when we have that. Now, uh, let's go over some games that are popular that you can't do this method with. Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Uh, you can turn off the part to where they like... <sighs> it's confusing. Anyway, so it will not turn off blood uh, in this, unfortunately. There is another method that I'll show you in a different video. Uh, double Action Boogaloo, I don't even know if anybody plays this game, it was free and it's hard to explain, but it's a Source Engine game, uh, and it's a shooter, and that does not work. Fistful of Frags does not work, 
Uh, Gary's mod does not work with this. There's another method that I'll show you in another video. It actually works really well. And that is just about it. So thanks for watching guys. And if you like this video, please leave a like. If you would like to vent your feelings about how you think that turning blood off in game totally makes the gameplay like awful and you couldn't play it without it, then that's fine. Leave a comment. I'd love to hear your feedback and I'll got any questions too about any other games that are supported or not supported please drop a comment and I'll do my best to help you also I've got a website finaleffectstudios.com uh, me and some other youtubers that I know namely Zach and Tim or Flying Goomba Gaming and Epic Lego Mox they both run channels Zach does gaming stuff and Tim or Epic Lego Mox does he builds actually Lego replicas of guns that are really, really cool, and I suggest you go and check his channel out. Links to their channels will be in the description. But anyways, FinalFactStudios.com, we basically put all our content on there. And uh, so if you want to see all kinds of crazy stuff, just go there. And be sure to subscribe to their respective channels. Anyway, thanks for watching. This has been Codius, and I'll see you in another video.